Shaking. Oh my god, look at my leg. These crazy legs. Uh, what? Uh, Pew. Pew. Our room is literally a mess right now, so let's handle that real quick. This new set I got from Gymshark is so cute. There's a little cross in the back. I just realized it matches my hairbrush. How cute is that? It's giving Barbie. Got some new scrub mommies. So we're in the home gym, you guys. I'm in the garage, I'm about to get a workout in. And you guys can probably tell I changed my top. That pink top had absolutely no support. Like when I tell you the girls were to the floor, it wasn't even funny. When I first put it on, I'm like, okay, this is cute. But even just like walking around, I'm like, I don't feel supported at all. So I switched to this white workout top, this little sports bra I got from Amazon. It is so cute, you guys. I have it in black too, and it's super affordable. I'll link it for you guys down below. But yeah, guys, I'm about to get this workout in. So I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to update you guys with my fitness journey, my postpartum fitness journey. So by the time you guys watch this video, the twins will be in nine months, which is absolutely insane like it just doesn't make any sense to me how they're already nine months but that means i'm gonna be nine months postpartum so and guys summer is here like we're already in may and if you guys watched my life update video i told you guys how my mommy makeover got rescheduled all the way to september i'm like okay i gotta get on my zoom so if you guys watched that video from february i let you guys know that i was doing workouts at home with co-pilot as well as doing um hot pilates whenever i got a chance to so right now that's looking at like once a week i'm doing hot pilates but i am working out twice a week at home with co-pilot and i'm still working out with co-pilot and you guys know co-pilot has been a game changer for me they're actually partnering with me for today's video so huge shout out to them if you guys have never heard of co-pilot it is an affordable fitness coach app that provides personalized workouts tailored to you your goals and whatever equipment that you have at home if you tell them all i have is literally a yoga mat they will create a workout plan just for you so it's been really great i'm still working out with the same coach her name is leslie she is the cutest and i love that she is a mother herself so she has three kids herself so with me being postpartum and having a c-section it was very important for me to have a trainer that understood my needs and understood my body so i didn't you know injure myself or anything so it's just been really great working with her and i love the fact that i'm working out with a real life person when i tell you guys I need someone to keep me accountable. And Mel is not enough. Like it can't be somebody in my life. It can't be my husband or my parents or a friend. Like I need a third party that is there to make sure I am doing what I need to do and to be on my grind. And for me, that is Copilot and that is my trainer on there. So when you guys sign up with Copilot, it's gonna have you fill out a questionnaire. It's gonna answer some questions like, again, what your goals are, what equipment you have, how often you're able to work out, stuff like that. 
and then it will match you up with your personal trainer then it will schedule you a video call so you guys can get to know your personal trainer which again is just so great to have an actual personal trainer for me the fittest I have ever been in my life was before I had cave on I had a personal trainer that I would meet with so ever since then ever since I haven't had a personal trainer it's just been really hard for me to just stay accountable and just to stay on track again I'm somebody who needs someone to make sure I am doing what I need to do I just know myself that's why I do really well with classes like I need someone telling me what to do so that is why I love copilot I love working with a personal trainer and then again it's on your schedule so I love the flexibility as well so if you tell your trainer you know what I can work out on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. They will provide for you a workout for Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Let's say Monday rolls around and your kids have a doctor's appointment. Boom, they can move it to a different day and you can just stay on track. The great thing about Copilot is that it syncs up to your Apple Watch or your phone, so it will track your workout. So your trainer can see how long it's taking you to get through the workout. It can see your beats per minute with your heart rate. Let's say you just did your workout and you're like, you know what, I don't really like this move. You let your trainer know and they can swap it out for you. So again, I love that it's so personalized and tailored to you. I told my trainer I don't like jumps I don't like anything that involves you know anything heavy on my knees so she completely omitted that from my workout plan and you can also track your workouts on there aside from just copilot so you guys know that I'm also doing hot Pilates so I have it synced up with my Apple watch so when I do hot Pilates it automatically gets updated to my copilot app so my trainer can see what I'm doing outside of our scheduled workouts as well y'all summer is here I'm getting hot in this garage I'm not gonna lie but I do think it's important to let you guys know that I did go through a good one or two months where I just was not working out consistently at all I was not sticking to my workout so I wasn't doing that well with my fitness journey I definitely was you know at a point like going like this but then it just dropped right back and I think it's important for me to let you guys know that and just to be transparent because fitness is not just a linear path there's gonna be times it's gonna be like hills and valleys you guys I just think it's important to be super realistic with yourself and give yourself a lot of grace because I'm someone if I have this perfect plan in my head and I don't hit every single workout I lose so much motivation and then when I lose motivation I'm just like I don't even want to do it anymore I hate that I'm like that but I'm very much an all-or-nothing person like if I'm not hitting all my workouts I'm just like whatever and then I don't work out for a month and I think I've done a much better job lately of just being like okay I'm gonna squeeze it in when I can and now I'm at a point in my life where I'm able to work out more and it's been really great I just wanted to say that to you guys because I know a lot of you guys are like me and we could just be so hard on ourselves like y'all give yourself some grace you're doing great sweetie the older I'm getting the more I'm realizing that me having lower stress levels makes a bigger impact on my body than just working out alone if working out is coming at the cost of me losing sleep being constantly stressed out it's kind of counteractive if that makes sense like I need to be in a good headspace I need to be getting my rest rest is so so important you guys I've been following a lot more fitness pages and active rest days are just as important as your workout days it's so important to let your muscles recover to get your rest I've just been cutting myself some slack and I've been seeing a lot of changes in my body on the topic of staying motivated I actually found it really interesting that over 75% of co-pilot users continue working out after 100 days which means co-pilot users are nine times more likely to stick to their fitness journey and to stick with their workouts so the proof is in the pudding y'all co-pilot really is such an essential tool for me in my fitness journey and I really want you guys to try it out for yourselves too because I know you guys are gonna love it as well you guys can click my co-pilot link down below in the description box so you guys can get started with your own health and fitness coach so again make sure you guys tap my link down below and let's get into this workout I'm 
tell them no cheap. Yeah, your girlfriend says she want it. Yeah, come up with more with the heat. Yeah, and this one on no Chinese key. Yeah, this are the real. Yeah, feel. Yeah, anytime them want it. Yeah, this are the real. Yeah, feel. Yeah, make your girlfriend rock to the beat. And every gangster I move them feet. Yeah, man, I saw EV. This are the real. Yeah, feel. You can be the best thing, yeah, the best thing. Can I be your bestie, yeah, your best friend? Give you one time, so run for a whole set. Jingle with you. Well, we can be the best thing, yeah, the best thing. Can I be your best friend, yeah, your best friend? I can be the best thing, yeah, the best thing. Oh, well, you can be the best thing, yeah, the best thing. Can I be the bestie, yeah, the best thing? I can be your best friend. Shiki, oh my god, look at my leg. Hi, Big Papa. Hi, Big Paps. Guys, I love that kind Kayvon. Hey. We've been getting them matching clothes lately and they look so cute. KK, let me see your sweatshirt. So you guys are known as guys. They even um, filmed Kai for me. I was like, Kay, I can't get it. And I handed him my camera. And he literally turned it to Kai. Like, Aww. Brother, she needs me. Guys, anytime I switch up on the vanilla sweet cream cold brew, I always regret it. What are you? What did you get, babe? Brown, brown sugar? sugar oat milk, shake, and espresso. Yeah, Mel got the brown sugar one. I think I've tried it. It's not my favorite. I'm just I'm not an oat milk girl. I tried this new drink yesterday. I'll put it on the screen for you guys so you you guys can try it out too if you're on the hunt for a new drink. Um, I found it on one of these blogs where they show like low calorie, healthy Starbucks alternatives, and this one was for like a low calorie, dirty iced chai tea latte and it was all right i think i didn't like it because i got it with almond milk i'm just especially starbucks's almond milk i don't like it i don't know what it is about that one like the, what'd you say we yeah we went to this one like random coffee shop and they had pistachio milk and it was so good but that's not really common um but yeah i'm not a big oat milk girl i'm not a big almond milk girl like if i'm gonna drink milk i'm just gonna drink milk you know what i mean and i find that regular dairy doesn't cause me to break out i know a lot of people think dairy gives them acne i personally don't think it affects my acne you guys know i love the turkey bacon egg white sandwich but this one's like kind of not it is there cheese on it it's like all cold now but it's still good Guys, I feel like right when Mel and I get in a good place with the kids with their sleep schedule, we get hit with a curveball. So Kai finally was sleeping through the night. Everything was going good, but now, but this past week, he's been waking up at 6 a.m. It's so weird. It's like the same time every day, like 6.15. I don't, ready. ready to start his day. He used to sleep until at least like 7, 7.30, but like 6. And y'all, and an hour of sleep makes a big difference because his sister is still sleeping until 7, 7.30. So this just yeah, throws off. Yeah. Now their naps are off. They used to nap at the same time together and now he needs a nap before she does because he wakes up early. Mommy! What's up? Look. What is that, Kay? It's a firefighter. Go away. Look at, look at KK's new. KK, you're wearing shoes, Kay. Yeah. This is my baby boy. This is my baby boy. This is my baby boy. Hi, baby. Oh, that's cute, babe. Look, Mel got the boys a bunch of matching outfits. We're at Whole Foods. Y'all, my baby boy looks so cute. Hi, Daddy. how beautiful these tomatoes are. These are so good. I don't know if I told you guys, but Kayvon and Ari are in the pool with Baba right now. And Baba wanted to make kebabs for tonight. So me and Mel were like, let's just go to the grocery store real quick and buy some stuff for tonight. I was gonna stay home because Kai was napping, but then right when Mel was about to leave, um, Kai woke up. So I'm like, okay, we might as well just like all three of us go. 
I love these too. Let's get this one. Of course, we got the samples. What's that one? This one? Oh. I didn't show this on camera, but I just went ahead and washed and prepped the strawberries for the week. And then I also made my buffalo chicken salad. I swear I show this in every video, so I'm embarrassed at this point. It's literally just shredded rotisserie chicken, chopped celery, chopped onion, mayo, Greek yogurt for extra protein, and buffalo sauce. And a little bit of like any seasonings that you like. Baba ate some, that's why there's a little dent. But it's so good, so I have all this prepped. Baba on the grill, making our kebabs. He's complaining about the meat that we got though. Well, what's wrong with the meat, Baba? Need a little more fat. Kebab need more fat. So, Kobide. Kobide need more fat. It's not... So this I knew is, I shouldn't have got it. This he is 85-15, right? 85% yeah. lean? When he asked me to get it, I'm like, eh, I can, but... Are you putting the game on for Baba? Mm. What? You make that one a hamburger. If you take it. Okay. Here, look at the technique, y'all. See, guys, some Persian restaurants, a lot of them, they use a machine, right, Baba? Yeah. No. Yeah, just one. Uh-oh. It's oh, whenever one falls. I, yeah. I could do that. But see, look, when one of them yeah. falls at our restaurant, that's the one we eat. Right, Baba? Yeah. Remember, yeah. we would just eat it. <laughs> Chicken bad, kubide. This is all by hand, you guys. Literally looks like a machine did it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 18 years of the experience, not easy. But your hand you would cannot, start hurting. Yeah, you cannot bring it in one night. Didn't, didn't mama used to do it and then her hand started hurting? So then you started doing it? Yes. Mm -hmm. First mommy was... And the hamburger for cake. <laughs> this hamburger for cake. Mm -hmm. Is when I was younger, it would amaze me that Baba could take a kebab straight off the grill, like burning hot, and pull it off onto a plate. Here, I'll show you. Oh yeah, Juju's making you hamburger. That hamburger for you. Look, Juju's making you hamburger. He was asking for a hamburger this morning. Well, what did you say about the kebab? Kebab, when you want, you want to take it off from the skewer. Uh -huh. now, I have not ready. If I have ready, I show you. But I told you how. Like a karate, how you go fast. Mm -hmm. This has to be fast. Take it, take it out. Don't burn your hand, not mm -hmm. slowly like this. Like how, Mama? Yeah, like <laughs> this, is, this is you burn yourself. <laughs> now I show you how I go fast. What'd you okay. say, Mama? I want to get it hot, hot, hot. Uh huh. Okay. Let let get more hot. Okay. Now look, <laughs> look, 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 look. What I say? First, you come here uh -huh. and see. Boom. Boom. Yeah, not. <coughs> <laughs> that you burn yourself. Hey, look, look. Ah. Uh huh. It's like that. It has to be best. If you make it slowly, wrong. We just put the kids to bed and always after dinner, like at nighttime, I like a little sweet treat. So usually what I eat, I usually eat one of these like little dates. I love dates so much. It's just the it's just the Iranian in me, okay? I just love a good date. And my family and I are obsessed with this brand specifically at Whole Foods. You guys saw I bought it earlier, but they are like this. It's literally just dates coated in coconut, if you guys can see that. Yeah, they're so, so good. Honestly, I try to keep this snack to like before my workouts. I actually hear that dates are like nature's pre-workout. So I've been trying to eat one of these like before I work out instead of an energy drink or something like that. But today, I saw this TikTok, and when we were at Whole Foods earlier, I did buy some of the supplies to make it because I thought it looked so good. Here, I'll just let you guys watch it so you can see. Safe, because it's my favorite. Some peanut butter. Let's go. This snack idea is so genius, yet so simple. So you're going to mix in one tablespoon of peanut butter to vanilla yogurt, add melted dark chocolate on top. I like to add peanuts and sea salt. Freeze for 10 minutes until the chocolate shell is hardened. And there you go, a high-protein snack that tastes like a Snickers ice cream bar. First things first, we have our yogurt. I got the same yogurt as her, the Siggy's brand. I actually never tried this yogurt. Instead of peanut butter, I got cashew butter. I just thought that sounded really good. I had it on its, I had it upside down so I shouldn't have to mix it. Oh my God, I got yogurt on my feet. Okay, so I have to mix this, but honestly guys, for peanut butter like this that separates, you gotta just keep it upside down in the pantry or in the fridge or whatever. Is this supposed to be refrigerated? Yeah, refrigerate after opening. But yeah, you just gotta store it on its upside down so you don't have to do this. I just went ahead and melted some chocolate in the microwave. 
This is the Hue chocolate. I really love this chocolate too. This is also one of my little something sweet at the end of the night. I just eat like a little block of this, like, you know, a little strip of it. Um, I also like the cashew butter flavor. I'm just in a cashew butter phase. But yeah, so they just poured the melted chocolate on top and then froze it. So let's do that. Ooh, that looks so good. Look at that. I'm just gonna leave it like this. You guys saw in that video, she put like peanuts and sea salt and all that. I'm just gonna leave it like this and freeze it. So while that freezes, I figured I could show you guys some of my other favorite snacks since you guys do know I am on a journey with my fitness and everything like that. So I have been a lot more mindful with my snacks. You guys know me though, I'm not a big snacker. I've never been. I'm an overeater. I used to be an overeater. I would eat a lot and I would eat big portions and I will just eat a meal. Um, but now I definitely have my snacks, but I pretty much my snacks are just like high protein. I just focus on the protein. I used to snack on like croissants and stuff like that. I don't really have any carb based snacks that I eat. Honestly, a lot of my snacks are meat. So if you're like a vegetarian, vegan, my snack options aren't the greatest for you, but I do typically just eat like meat based snacks. So you guys saw me get these from... Whole Foods, but this is like one of my go-to snacks just because I can throw this in my bag on the go. Um, I'm always just like eating. I'll eat like at least one of these a day and these have nine grams of protein per stick. So these are the Chomps sticks, but I love the buffalo flavor. This is Mel and I's favorite flavor. So you guys can see it's just like a turkey stick or this is chicken. Yeah, so this is a like chicken stick. So I'll eat one of these with like a string cheese. I love string cheese. So I'll eat like one of these together. Um, and again, this is like nine grams of protein. The cheese also has some protein. I just don't know it off the top of my head. So I'll eat these two. I just picked these up from Whole Foods today too. I haven't tried it, but I got these grass fed beef sticks from this brand right here, Archer. Another thing that I'll snack on, and this might sometimes just be my lunch if I'm super busy, but I love like deli turkey or chicken. Again, I know it's not like the healthiest thing in the world. Um, definitely things like this do have more sodium, but I just like it. I genuinely love like deli turkey. I'm like going through a phase right now. I'm trying out this herb one today that I got from Whole Foods, but I also just like this one from Costco. Again, I, I always get organic. So if I'm getting deli meat, it's gonna be organic. Um, here's like another brand that I like. I also look at the ingredients. Wait, where's the ingredients? Where is it? Right here. I also always look at the ingredients. So I really like this brand from Costco. And again, this is the brand. I like Applegate too. So I get this from like Whole Foods or the regular grocery store. Then if I'm gonna snack and I don't wanna eat one of those, again, I only have like one snack a day, if that makes sense. Um, I don't really consider protein shakes snacks because I kind of consider that like a meal in a sense. So I also have like protein shakes. You guys know I love like prepackaged protein shakes like Orgain or whatever. The thing I love to snack on is straight up pistachios. My parents get it from the Iranian supermarket in bulk. So yeah, I'll literally have like a handful of pistachios and a string cheese or something like that. And then also like I just want something other than water and i love these half day iced teas i have showed you guys these before i get these off of amazon so they come in a bunch of flavors so this is the lemon iced tea i also get the green tea flavor or the peach tea so these are a prebiotic iced tea but i just genuinely like the flavor i don't even care about the prebiotics and stuff these are 30 calories a, a can um four grams of net carbs and it's all like organic material. It's just really yummy. Like this is what I drink with my meals when I don't want water, but I don't want to drink soda. Mel and I recently got into cottage cheese and we're almost done with this right here, but this is just whole milk cottage cheese. It has 14 grams of protein per half a cup. So we've been loving this for breakfast. We'll put it on like a piece of toast, um, some cottage cheese, and we'll drizzle it with like honey. You can add strawberries, but it's really, really yummy. So yeah, I also love this as well. So again, I just really like to focus on protein when I'm snacking. But yeah, guys, that's been my snacks. If I want something crunchy, I love like baby carrots. I almost always have baby carrots in the fridge. I don't have it right now, but that with Greek yogurt mixed with, um, what is it called? Ranch seasoning. So you take ranch seasoning, put in Greek yogurt, and then it's so good with like celery and carrots. So that's another one that we eat. So yeah, guys, that's been my snacks lately. Again, if I'm hungry, that usually means I need a meal. So I'm gonna eat a meal. But yeah, these have been like my favorite things to eat you know if i'm just like on the go i can easily just throw these two especially these two like i just throw them in my purse and i'll just eat them in the car okay guys here's the first bite we have the hardened chocolate and the yogurt and the peanut butter yeah 
guys that really does taste just like a snickers bar and guys this yogurt right here has 16 grams of protein and then the cashew butter has eight grams of protein per two tablespoons i don't think i use that much per se i probably used half so i would say four grams of protein but wow that really does taste just like a snickers ice cream Guys, I gotta put you on to this new show I've been watching, but I will warn you, it's definitely not gonna be everybody's cup of tea. It's kind of weird. Like, would you say it's weird, babe? Mel doesn't watch it with me, but you saw some of it. I mean, it's very real. It is, it's very real. Um, I don't know how to describe it. It's, it kind of gives me American Horror Story vibes in a way. It does cover like real topics, but it's just really good, y'all. I'm on the second episode. But if I had the time, I would totally sit here and like binge watch it. So it's called Dead Ringers. It's on Amazon. So it's about these two twin um, gynecologists. Hold on. Does that have a good like show description or no? Dude, Amazon Prime. It's just about twin doctors who use unethical methods of birthing. But we haven't seen that yet. That's just the description. But yeah, guys, it's like twin doctors, but turns out it's the same character that plays both like the same um actress plays both twins Literally. hold on can i even show this on youtube mouse said this is what i look this is like how Nas looks when i wake up in the morning <laughs> i look that bodacious yes there's always something hanging out i don't know what it is but your pajamas. Hey. <laughs> whether it's a nip slip or a booty Babe. poking out something's always hanging out Okay, guys, that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoy. Again, make sure you guys click that link down below to check out Copilot and start with your own expert health and fitness coach. So again, I'll put the link for you guys down below. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe for more videos. And we'll see you again for our next one. Bye, guys.